We pick up when the car rolls off the line. Now it's got to go through a series of checks, and that's my job. I greet patients, take vital signs. If it's something that can be fixed, the adrenaline rush of getting it done, it is fun to me. <laughs> When you think about staying competitive, it really comes down to having the right workforce, the right skilled workforce in order to help those businesses thrive. We have a fundamental gap in today's economy. We have millions of good paying, skilled jobs that are going unfilled. Unfortunately, we as a country just have not prioritized investing in those people to make it easier for them to get into those jobs. So it's a strap wrench so you don't scratch the material. A four year degree is great. But I really think there are multiple opportunities and multiple on-ramps to a good career. Just a uh, guy born in Kentucky, grew up in Colorado, went to Indiana State. Right out of college, I got snatched up by State Farm Insurance. After 22 years of doing insurance, I just decided it was time for a career change. Hey, I used to be your insurance agent. That's what I thought. Yeah. And I got burnt out, and I thought I'm gonna come over here. I've never been in a factory, so I went to get those additional skills, try to get some type of foot in the door with the uh, manufacturing education. Got in there, and I was like, this place is pretty amazing. Programs like this help people get a better leg up, get them to where they need to be, and, and get them in the right path that they want to pursue. Give me your first. Let's step on the scale. 48% of our jobs here do not require a four-year degree, but they do require some type of skill. The apprenticeship program has expanded my knowledge like tenfold. I started out in the lab working as a phlebotomist. I had no clue as to what went on on the clinical side. All right, if you could we're giving them experience on the job, but they also have educational experience back at the community college, all while being paid and having health care insurance available to them and to their families. It's made me be able to be more active in my kids' schooling. I'm home on the weekends now. We're consistent on a day-to-day -day basis. Graduated high school and I started working at a local grocery store. Worked there for about 15 years and wanted a better quality of life and better for my family. The grocery store wages wouldn't support a family properly. Industry needs skilled workers. Meanwhile, we operate in communities that have need for jobs and the North Baton Rouge Industrial Training Initiative puts those two things together. It is such a win-win. We get access to skilled labor. The win for the community is folks that maybe would not have had these opportunities get the opportunities. Work here has been real good. A better job helped me support my family better. Putting my kid through school, getting a house, car, have a little bit in the bank. It made me think, what if I had done this 15 years ago? And how much better it would be. But it's never too late. More than two thirds of the people in our workforce are looking for some investments in their skills outside of a four year degree. Voices for Skills is our effort to make sure that we value those people just as much as we value the folks who went on to get a degree. College isn't for everybody. We all can't go to college. The thing is, have the opportunities out there, have the options out there. Putting money towards these programs should be a necessity. Once you get your trade, you feel better about yourself. Make you pick your head up and walk with your head high. 